Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Junior Dos Santos and John Jones. So here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is, is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jackson, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafson. It is a list of all the favors that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. All right, here he is, the affable former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos. The knockouts have started to pile up again for him. The Luis Doria trained boxer really starting to find that form yet again as he tries to track down another UFC title shot. That shows the quality of the mentality of Junior Dos Santos. To go back and reset when things aren't going well and you find yourself trying to skid, you go back and mentally you fix it. Junior Dos Santos has fixed that. He never did not have the skill. He went back and fixed the mental, and now it's put him right back where he wants to be. The fight against Derek Lewis showed that he has the patience and the calmness to withstand the storm, and then when you give him an opportunity, he still has that quick strike ability to finish a fight. A lot of confidence in his chin, his toughness, and of course his recent alignment with the American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 33. The Brazilian is 36. He weighed in at 238 pounds. Jones will have a seven inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Chicago. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And we hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster especially. One side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. 
And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, spinning back fist. Some blood starting to trickle down in and around that left eye. Hopefully it doesn't affect his vision. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go here. Takedown defense holds up. One of the most support strikes in the clinch is this big body shot. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. All right, so a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finisher position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns into opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. So five minutes in the books. We'll see how it goes here in round two. Junior Dos Santos and John Jones. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems desperate to keep that title right now. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have now landed for Junior Sagano Dos Santos. And connecting with a 39% accuracy rate here tonight against John Jones. Straight punch land. Jones gets tattooed with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big punch to the body. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick. One and a half minutes now to go in round two. Right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Jones's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Switching stances oh, here. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice, but a kick down the tip. In a very close round, a kick down like that might be the difference. Oh, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. That takedown attempt without issue. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Nice great punch. So 52 total strikes have now landed for Junior Dos Santos. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against John Jones. Oh, defense into offense, shot blocked. Counter hook is good. Just misses. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! oh. Well, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that one in DC. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of training. That is it. That'll do it. He got him. What a performance. 
Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, we go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. I'm on top of the ball. I'm on top of the ball. Oh.